What is going on YouTube and uh, yeah, we're back with another story So there's this old abandoned hospital in, uh, in a town near me It's I think it closed down in 86. So I mean, it's not like it's not that old or anything, but there's literally Nothing in it. There's I mean some desks and tables at times But there's no like old hospital beds or really anything that like belong to the hospital or anything like that So I mean it's kind of just like the look of the building itself is kind of cool and creepy and whatnot There's nothing really left in But yeah, we when I first came to Michigan, I seen that and I'm like, okay, I, I want to explore this And it was a little while after to a will to where one of my brother visited to when I finally got to go in it. And, you know, we we spent a lot of time in there, a good couple hours yeah, just looking thing. around, looking at everything, like figuring out the doors, w the floors, where everything is, you know, in case we came back, we wouldn't get lost or anything like that. But So we spent a lot of time looking for it. And er, late last summer... Uh, me, my nephew, and my older brother, not the same one I was just talking about, but, uh, they, they both visited me, and we went there, we were like, you know, my brother hasn't been in it, neither has my nephew, so, you know, we'll, we'll take him there, show him, and we, we brought, I mean, cameras, EVPs, because when it was me and my other brother, uh, we actually got a bunch of stuff on the EVP, we got, like, voices, sounds, and all that, weird feelings. But so we went there and everything where, you know, I was telling them about what we've all picked up on EVP and video and everything. And, you know, they're like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. But while we were there, you know, we're walking around. We first get in and whatnot. And you immediately get cold. I mean, the like inside is really cold to where you think it would have been warm since it's, you know, all the windows are open. So a bunch of cold air should have been getting in. But, uh, there wasn't. It was absolutely freezing. So, we started exploring and whatnot, and there's, like, this room with, like, a graffiti castle on it. And it's just awesome room, so I tried to uh, take them there. And, uh, we're walking around, we're taking pictures, you know, we're doing all that stuff. Because, you know, it's just so cool that... Why not? Why not take pictures? And you always get this, or we always got this strange feeling in there, like something was there with us, something was watching us and whatnot. And, as I said before, me and my one brother, we explored the shit out of that. Like, we we spent good four or five hours probably exploring it to n find every room. And, like, we felt like we found all the rooms, like we were in every single one of them thoroughly and whatnot. But when me and my nephew, when my nephew and my brother were there, we got to these couple of rooms to where you got like on top of everything, like where you can get on the roof. Because before, when it was just me and my one brother, we didn't get up to the roof. I didn't know how to or anything like that. So we didn't, you know, get, get to go up there. But in this, there was a door in which I've never seen before. And it's just like, um, alrighty then. And it was just like really weird. But you know, we didn't think nothing of it because we were like, okay, we probably just missed it and whatnot. So we were exploring up top and everything. And then we we start we come back down and we start searching around again. And we find this one room in which we've never seen before. Like when we came out of the from the roof, when we came out down there and went down the steps. We got to a room in which, like, we've never seen before. It was like the exit out, but it was like it changed. Like, it wasn't the same as what it was. And we were just like, what? So we started walking around again, and, like, there were rooms in which we never remember seeing. Like, we don't ever remember being in there or anything like that. Like, it just changed. And then, so we're just kind of walking around, and we get to this room that has a bunch of graffiti in it. And... When we spent a good five hours in there, we only found one graffiti room. This other one that we seen was in the middle of the entire, like, hospital. But, like, we never seen it. And I don't know how we would have missed it. It's like things were just appearing, it seemed like. And it was just creepy. But, 
So we figured that out and we're just like, what in the hell? And we actually got lost pretty much because it seemed like rooms and everything were changing. Like different rooms were where other rooms should have been, if that makes any sense. Like sometimes there was a bathroom where like an insane room should have been. The padded padded rooms. As and it was just it's all different from what we initially remember. And it was just like, okay, either we don't remember correctly or something is literally moving it. And um we go into that uh graffiti room and there's a bunch of new graffiti that we've never seen before. It's just like, okay, this is weird. We ended up leaving the room and got lost as soon as we left because it seemed so different from when we came in. Like, it was a big hallway, but when we left, it wasn't. It was like another entrance into a tiny little room and then the hallway. And it's like, we don't remember this. So, we're like, we're kind of getting freaked out. So, we were in there for a good, like, two, three hours. And we're like, okay, it's this is weird. We should probably go. And while we were leaving, like, we're, we're, get, we're getting back in the car and everything. There's this car we noticed from the hospital following us. You could see the headlights, that's all you could see. You couldn't see the actual car itself, just the headlights. But we're, we're going and we noticed it following us. It's just like, okay, this is weird. And then we get to this turn and like there was no other turns that the person could have took. It was on a back road and whatnot and he, they were right behind us. And when we took the turn to get onto our road, we looked back and there was no car. The car just simply vanished. So we're kind of, you know, we're freaking out. We're just like, um, where did it go? What's happening? And it was just, it was just insane. It was probably one of the best experiences ever. Hopefully, because we're getting, be we're getting up there in subscribers and views. We just broke 100 subscribers and 10,000 views. Hopefully, middle of next month, around the 19th, is when one of my brothers are coming out. So hopefully what I'm hoping to try to do is go to the hospital again, get some videos recorded, EVPs. I'm going to hopefully try to constantly record a video and hopefully, you know, I can get something good and then I'll just cut it down to, you know, a good size, maybe 30, 40 minutes of like raw kind of footage. No, nothing edited, just cut out the things that really don't happen. And what I'm going to hopefully try to do is get it so two or three of us can record that way you have different like views and whatnot but that is what we we i we whatever hope to do and get done for you guys for being you know subscribers and whatnot and hopefully get we're going to be trying to get a bunch more games uploaded and whatnot and stuff like that so just stay tuned i mean we got a lot coming hopefully everything works out as it does but uh yeah, if you guys have any crazy paranormal stories or just crazy stories in general, comment them down below. Um, it'll be it'll be cool to hear them. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and tune in next time for another video. All right, guys, peace.